All right, hi everyone. We are back today with a 1992 Subaru Sambar four-wheel drive supercharged edition. Uh, so this one, of course, has the upgraded supercharged engine, which pushes out about 55 horsepower as opposed to the 40 horsepower the regular carbureted engines push out. So this one, you know, a little bit quicker. Uh, doesn't sound like a lot more power than the 40, but uh, yeah, you can definitely feel it. Um, yeah, and it just has that extra cool factor, you know. My truck is supercharged. Um, but yeah, it's also nice having the added bonus of fuel injection. Um, I guess if you don't want to mess with any carburetors or anything like that, then then uh, there you go. This one you're looking for. Um, so yeah, this one's pretty clean all around. It's got some surface rust here and there, like on these hinges. Some some rust there. Um, surface rust just on the uh, headache rack which is pretty common. Um, I mean, pretty much half the trucks you see that come up on auction have some surface rust on those headache racks. This one's pretty cool too. Um, it has a little, uh, like a wood, wooden frame around the bed, protect the underneath. Um, yeah, this one is screwed in. So uh, I haven't taken that off at all to look underneath, but I'm sure it's fine because there's no major rust or anything like that on this truck at all. Just some surface rust. Um, pretty typical but yeah as you can see so if I lower this down see the the wood side stays with it which is pretty cool pretty cool to have that I, I was wondering what it was the whole time while uh while I was waiting for it to get here I was wondering um uh, like you know if the wood was actually screwed in or not but yeah I guess it is um but yeah it looks like they did a pretty good job with it um it's nice and neat and uh, but the good thing is, is that this stuff here on the bed, it, well, here, I'll show you. There's a nice rubber mat here and then wood underneath. But underneath that, it's uh, nice and clean. It's a little heavy. Well, nice and clean as in no rust, but uh, not so clean right now. But I'll get around to cleaning that out. But yeah, it's a pretty cool little thing. I mean, yeah, it does add some weight, but adds extra protection if, you're, if that's what you're looking for. Anyways, this is pretty cool too. Um, this is my first sandbar I've had in that actually had a, a little chain for the truck bed right there, or for the tailgate, excuse me. Pretty cool little look. If you're thinking about hauling a bike or something, I would probably suggest getting a chain for the other side, just for that extra support. But uh, but yeah, yeah, it's just a pretty cool little feature. Um, you might notice I didn't put this side down, which I'm sure it functions perfectly fine, but this little handle, so you can see is not in great condition. Uh, so that'll have to be replaced. But overall, the truck is very clean. A little bit, a little bit of surface rust underneath. So I'll get down here and I'll show you guys. As you can see, a little bit of surface rust on there. Nothing serious. Whole frame is totally solid. There you go. It's very clean. Just some normal surface rust for a 31-year-old vehicle on the streets of Japan. But yeah, other than that, it's very clean. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that, but <laughs> it is a very clean truck. It's probably the cleanest sandbar I've had so far. But here we go. We'll look at the interior. Of course, here's the typical seam tears on the sandbar. It's unfortunate. I don't think I've had a perfect one come in yet. There are perfect one out, ones out there, of course, but this type of seat for some reason this particular pattern always has tears on the, on the stitching yeah and just a little bit right there and then of course a little bit of wear and tear from getting in and out of the, of the car nothing too serious nothing too crazy anyways uh we'll give it a little start here of course this thing the fuel injection don't have to give it any gas or anything like that starts right up every time Perfect cold start. This one is a non-AC truck. So, you know, if AC is what you're looking for, this is not the one for you. But, you know, since this was a supercharged model, I had to have it. I was on the search for a clean supercharged one for a long time. Five speed, of course. Gotta have five speed. Um, haven't heard great things about the CVT transmissions on these things. Uh, they like to fail pretty early. But yeah, um, the inside is pretty clean. Door cards are clean. Um, yeah, it looks like this one is pretty well taken care of. 
give it a little rev here. Don't want to do it too much, of course, because the truck's still warming up. But yeah, blowers work just fine. Of course, the uh, sandbars, I don't know, for those who know, they, they blow pretty hard. Well, of course, that doesn't sound right coming out, but yes, the uh, fan is very strong on them, so kind of makes up for the lack of AC a little bit uh, in this one. And uh, this was pretty cool as well. Uh, we have the original little tool kit for the sandbar and the original service manual, which is very cool to have. It's always nice to have that little surprise when you uh, open up open up the truck and you find that. Yep, everything's pretty clean up here. Back there. Overall, it is just very uh, a very clean truck. Uh, Four-wheel drive engages normally. I know you can't hear anything, but um, yeah, the light comes on. I tested it out. The front wheels were spinning. And of course, if you, for those who don't know, um, the sandbar, most or the four-wheel drive version ones, they come with uh, five-speed, just just a traditional five-speed manual transmission with an added extra low gear. So of course, this is first. And then if you come over and go over one more and then up, that is extra low. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can get that. Yep, see the extra low gear right there. And then of course, when you engage the extra low, it kicks right into four wheel drive. And of course, this is a five digit odometer on this one. Um, so 50, I did say 55,000 kilometers. Um, it is a verified 55,000 kilometers. So uh, I think that's right around 35,000 miles or so. So very low mileage. Um, but not too low to where it is uh, scary that it's been sitting for a long time. But yeah, this one doesn't seem like it's been sitting for very long because it's uh, runs and drives great. Um, but yeah, anyways, I guess there's really not too much to go with these little trucks. So um, I guess I'll come around back to the front. And as you see, the uh, bumper bumper's a little faded, but take a little heat gun i've seen that hack before maybe i'll try that out see if i can bring some life back to this bumper but yeah another cool thing about this one is that this one is the round headlight sandbar the earlier edition the earlier version i guess before they switched to the uh, rectangle lights um i guess the round headlights are probably a little bit more sought after because they are uh glass lenses which is cool so they won't fade on you they won't turn yellow um and I guess if you want to, I've seen a lot of people upgrade these with uh, some LED ones, like some Jeep LED fog lights or what have you. Um, it's a pretty cool upgrade if you want some extra light power to uh, notify people that you are indeed on the road with them because they might not be able to see you in this little truck. But yeah, um, that pretty much is all there is to it. It's a overall very clean truck. A little bit of surface rust here and there, um, just a couple spots. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it's a great little truck. I will be back with a driving video. I'll just add a uh, quick little driving clip on the end of this one. So thank you guys and I will see you soon. All right, so here we are. We're back with a little driving section of the Subaru Sandbar Supercharged. And here we go. Excuse my one-handed shifting, trying to videotape this with the other hand. But yep, yeah, goes through the gears nice and easy. Just going to give this a little, uh, there we go. Going to go through nice and slow right now. Then I'll come through here, I'll shift down into third gear. Give it a little power. Doesn't seem like much, but uh, for those who know, uh, it's uh, pretty quick for a little sandbar. Have the little supercharger on there, it definitely helps a bit. Let's pull over in here. Yep, it's cruising along third gear, fourth gear. Yeah, it runs great, it's nice and smooth. Um, you know, as, it's as comfortable as a little K-Truck can be. Uh, yeah. 
like I said, you know, having that little supercharger on there, you know, it doesn't add a crazy amount of power or anything, but it's definitely a little bit more and it's definitely noticeable. It's cruising around third gear right now, coming through this little neighborhood. Just give it a little test drive, coming over a little bump. Ooh. Handles the bumps just fine, no problems. or so that was now easing off of it handles these hills no problem but as we come out here to the main road I'll uh, give it a little beans show you guys some of the supercharged action it runs and drives great um, you know the supercharger supercharged version I think has the same exact gear ratios as the carburetor one so you know you'll still be pretty high on the RPMs when you're on the highway but <laughs> first gear is so short it's actually pretty quick Most, you know, the, the end of that was fourth gear. So I still have an extra gear to go after that. But yeah, first is definitely just, I mean, I'm in first right now going slow. It's definitely a grandma gear, that's for sure. It's very, uh, it's very low gear. Yep, coming back around in third. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it. This thing is a uh, pretty problem. Well, not pretty problem free. It is problem free. Um, haven't had any issues with it yet, of course. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it. If you guys have any questions for me or want any specific pictures of it from me, uh, just let me know. And of course, if you're interested in buying, it'll be up on the market pretty soon. And uh, this one will probably be probably be listed around the 8,000 or 8,500 mark, uh, which is actually, you know, I think it's a pretty good deal for a uh, pretty clean supercharged version of the truck, which you can't find many supercharged versions. And most of the other ones I've seen have been listed for well over 10,000. So I think that's a pretty good deal. Anyways, we are pulling in. There's the uh, Chariot Resort Runner right there. But yeah. If you guys have any questions uh let me know this little sandbar supercharge will be on the market soon and uh i look forward to hearing from everyone all right thanks